It's almost Minecraft Live again and Mojang has decided to host yet another mob vote and we know how well this is gonna go. It always causes some sort of internal war. So to celebrate the occasion I decided to redesign the two most controversial mobs that came from a mob vote, the Phantom and the Glow Squid. So I started with the Phantom. Back before the mob was added, it used to be called the Monster of the Night Sky. The Monster of the Night Skies and then it had its name changed to Phantom. But for something called Phantom, it doesn't quite look like one. Usually a Phantom is a ghost or some form of apparition, and when we think of ghosts, we are used with things that look more humanoid and creepy, while the Phantom looks more like an old man array that chose the wrong path in life. For this, I was kinda inspired by the myth of the Mothman. So I began by changing the Phantom to a straight up position, I gave it a neck and I began building some legs and a longer tail. I made the wings much longer and almost bat-like, and I think it turned out pretty good actually. And for a mob that was claimed to bite down your flesh, it's kinda lacking in a bit on the jaw department. It will swoop down in groups and bite your flesh. So I give it a jaw. Then for the texturing, I decided to keep the similar colors, but make it a little bit darker. I kept the bony look of the old phantom, but I gave it a skeleton head and a ribcage. Now, people really dislike the phantom because of the way it acts. It's not very fun, like, like at all. They spawn in large groups and swoop down to hit you. The issue is that they are way faster than you and really hard to hit. The point is, fighting the phantom is annoying. So to make it scarier and more interesting, I decided to reduce the amount of phantoms to only one instead of multiple. And instead of spawning on the third night, it now spawns on the fifth night. Every night you skip without sleeping, you hear a noise that grows more intense, warning you that the phantom is getting closer. The Phantom is a mob inspired by insomnia, and in real life if you don't sleep enough, you may start to see strange things and hallucinations. So on the third night you're awake, I made it so that you start to see shadows following you and hear strange noises around you. These shadows don't do any damage and they are there to warn you that you have gone way too long without sleeping. On the fourth night you begin to see the phantom in the distance, you will notice it laughing at you and flying away the moment you notice it. All of that to enhance the idea that the phantom is getting closer, so that on the fifth night the phantom appears to attack you, landing on your shoulder to give you a jump scare. Yeah, I, I have a pretty twisted mind. By the way, some of these ideas I got from this comment right here. This is what happens when you subscribe, you get to influence on the next eldritch man-made horrors I'll make. Besides the usual flying pattern, the phantom can now land and charge a powerful pounce attack. This should make it easier to hit, but he is still really fast and dangerous. It can also ambush you and give you some really nasty effects like blindness or nausea. If you defeat the phantom, you may not notice anything special at first, but if you decide to sleep right after, you can now enter a dream. And in my idea, the dreams could work just like the Infinity April Fools update, which added a bunch of dimensions to Minecraft. All you had to do was write a book and throw it in another portal, and you'd get a completely random and strange dimension. Some had weird colors, flying ships, or all kinds of weird stuff. You may also craft a new item called the Dreamcatcher, which prevents phantoms and shadows from spawning near you. Speaking about dream, now it's time to go for the glow squid. It's such a cool idea for a mob, unfortunately it really doesn't do much. Neither it does what it says in its name. So to fix this mob, I decided to make it glow. Jokes aside, I began to change the way it looks. Now, there isn't something really wrong with the glow squid, but I feel like it could look a lot more interesting. I wanted to make it a little bit more realistic, so I gave it the iconic squid head and flaps. I added some weird huge eyes sticking out of its head and began to make the tentacles. I made them segmented so I can animate. I kept the colors pretty much the same and began animating it. It was a little bit annoying to do, but it looked pretty good in the end. And look at how goofy it looks when you hit it, it totally made it worth it. People really dislike the glow squid because it pretty much doesn't do anything, but honestly I think that's fine actually. And now that I made it emit light, I think it's a pretty decent mob, however I think it could have been a little bit more unique. You see, the glow squid doesn't really match the environment in which it spawns at, which are the caves. So what if I made a mini biome that comes with it? I made this inspired by the glow warm caves, which is a real life thing, and I made my own own bioluminescent cave biome with glowing plants and mushrooms and whatnot. And you can also find these weird egg-like things that can be broken. You may get some random stuff from it, like XP bottles or pickaxes or even skulls. If the purpose of the glow squid is to be used for decoration, then being able to transport it should be a lot easier. So you can put it in an aquarium. Here's a baby glow squid in a bucket, and come on, it looks really cute, doesn't it? You can now have your own pet baby glow squid, which will provide lights to you as you explore the dark caves, which becomes even more useful for my next idea. If 
There is one thing that I'm terrified of, is the deep dark ocean. Not ghosts, not the warden, but the ocean. And one of my favorite games is called Subnautica, where you got to explore the depths of the ocean and sometimes it can be pretty scary. The game itself can already be pretty eerie at times, but if you travel beyond the playable area, there's this one place called the Dead Zone, which is completely pitch black and there is no bottom. You can keep swimming forever and you'll never reach the end. You end up losing all your senses of direction here, and then you can suddenly get attacked by a massive leviathan creature. Now, I'm not planning on adding a huge underwater monster on this video, wink wink. I thought it would be super cool if glow squids spawned in this special deep dark sea biome. You would hear loud yet muffled noises of huge underwater monsters that you will never get to see. And yeah, I make Minecraft scary, that's my thing. And with all that done, which mob would you vote for, the new glow squid or the phantom? Comment down below and go watch this video, it's pretty cool.